Hello and welcome to another Devotion for Troubled Times. Today is Wednesday, May 13th. I had to look, 2020. It is so good to join with you again. Once again, I'm encouraging us to be involved in the 2020 reading plan. And once again, I'll remind you that while I just said it's a 2020 reading plan, what I really mean to say is it's a 2020 listening plan. The idea is that you will read the scriptures, having prayed beforehand, saying, Father, I believe this is your word, and I believe that you want to say something to me today. So would you speak to me, and would you give me ears to hear? And then as you read through the scripture, don't just read to get through it, but read listening for what God would have to say to you. Maybe make a little note uh, wherever a verse really jumps out and speaks to you, just put a dot next to it in your margins. And then when it comes to the reflection time, go back and reflect on what you have heard God say. That way you will be listening to God. So today, as we do that, and as we listen to the Lord, one of the passages for the day is Psalm 30. And it is a tremendous psalm of praise from David. And it is a psalm that he used um, for the dedication of the temple. It's a psalm that was used at the dedication of the temple kind of a thing. And so he says this. This is the ESV. I'll be reading it from the message in a moment. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry, and to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. In this COVID-19 pandemic time, the idea that our God is a God, that we cry to him for help and for healing, and he answers, that he will not allow us to go down to the pit. That sort of thing is really comforting and hopeful to us in this time. I know even that in the other readings, there's a pestilence that comes upon the nation of Israel because of the disobedience of King David. And he pleads and he begs um, for deliverance and for mercy from the Lord. And the Lord answers him. That's a good thing. In this time, it's a good thing to know that God is our healer, that he is our redeemer. And I think it's really important for us to know that. So from the message, we have this. And in the message, Eugene Peterson says it this way. I give you all the credit, God. You got me out of that mess. You didn't let my foes gloat. God, my God, I yelled for help, and you put me together. God, you pulled me out of the grave, gave me another chance at life when I was down and out. And if I was reflecting, I would kind of be reflecting on those verses right there. 
that there is hope for tomorrow, that there's a, a better hope and a better life, a way that God is the one who pulls us out of the grave, that we have everlasting life even in him and through him. I would be, that's the, that's the verse that kind of caught my attention. Then in verses four and five, all you saints, sing your hearts out to God. Thank him to his face. He gets angry once in a while, but across a lifetime, there is only love. The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. When things were going great, I crowed, I've got it made. I'm God's favorite. He made me king of the mountain. Then you looked the other way and I fell to pieces. You know, sometimes I wonder if that's not what has happened here in the United States. Things were going great and we crowed, we've got it made, we've got everything in control. We've got, we've got it all together. And then this pestilence comes upon us, the sickness, this illness comes out of nowhere and we get knocked on our uh, can very quickly. And we call out to God again. And so in verses eight to 10, I called out to you, God. I laid my case before you. Can you sell me for a profit when I'm dead? Auction me off at a cemetery yard sale? When I'm dust to dust, my songs and stories of you won't sell. So listen and be kind. Help me out of this. We, we want to praise the Lord and give him joy. Um, Eugene Peterson says some things very, very poetically and picturesquely. I like it. But here's 11 to 12. You did it. You changed wild lament into whirling dance. You ripped off my black mourning band and decked me with wild flowers. I'm about to burst with song. I can't keep quiet about you. God, my God, I can't thank you enough. Well, I hope that that's your heart, that you can't thank God enough for all the many ways that he's helped you, all the many ways that he's healed you, all the many ways that he's delivered you. Remember, we're not in control, but he is. Life circumstances come and they go, but God remains forever. And his love is steadfast and unmovable. And he will bring us through all of this. We don't need to worry. He'll carry us through. Yes, we may need to stay apart for a little bit longer. We may need to uh, do social distancing for a while, even though the governor is lifting the stay-at-home order he's still recommending groups of no more than 10. Uh, we are going to continue to be good stewards, wise stewards. I'm going to continue as your shepherd to stand between you and the uh, forces of destruction that are out there and try and bring my uh, wisdom and protection to you. And so as we go forward, just know that God is with us. And he's got this and we can praise him, we can rejoice in him, and we can sing to him because he is our healer and he is our redeemer. God bless you today and every day.